What is this deformity of the scaphoid called? On this sagittal CT, note the fracture within the scaphoid waist and the folded configuration of the scaphoid. This is called a humpback deformity. What is a humpback deformity? Well, this is when the intrascaphoid angle is greater than 35 degrees. This would require an open wedge interposition graft to restore the normal anatomic position of the scaphoid in relation to the carpal bones. The abnormal scaphoid on the left shows a humpback deformity. Here's a sagittal CT highlighting an increased intrascaphoid angle greater than 35 degrees. Compare this to the normal scaphoid on the right with a decreased angle. This illustration shows the progression of the humpback deformity where there's malunion or nonunion after a fracture. To restore alignment, an open wedge interposition graft is used. During surgery, there's dorsal exposure of the wrist. A donor site is then identified. A block of cortocancellous bone is harvested from the dorsum of the distal wrist along with periosteum and the vascular pedicle. This pedicle is then mobilized by elevating the artery in its vein along with a cuff of adjacent tissue. The site of the scaphoid nonunion is debrided, creating, creating an oval-shaped defect in the non-articular surface of the dorsal cortex. The vascularized bone is then contoured to fit the shape of the defect. A screw or pin then fixate the scaphoid with a graft in place. The S notes scaphoid, the R notes distal radius. You now know a lot about the humpback deformity of the scaphoid. Please subscribe for more awesome anatomy and radiology videos.